Everyone says, if you want to be energy efficient, you have to replace these old wood windows. But is that true? Are you really saving money in the long run by replacing them? I'm gonna test them to find out. I'm gonna do a test to compare a replacement window to a traditional wood window. Then I'm gonna compare the cost of maintaining that old window versus the cost of replacing it with new. There's gonna be a few videos covering my experiment and this is the first one that explains exactly how I'm gonna do it. Pause, if you're new here, go ahead and like and subscribe and also check out my store in the link below. Some of you have asked how to support what I do, that's how. All right, back to the video. A lot of us out there in the preservation community will share that one study by like treehugger.com that says your wooden windows with the storm are just as efficient, but it's just the one study. And while that study is a good one and I was glad to find something, it focused on air infiltration and they built this like shed with a blower door test or something like that. There's gotta be more. There's no air leaking, but you can feel the coldness when you put your hands up by the window, that sort of thing. What does it feel like to be in an environment with a replacement window versus properly restored historic wood window? What's, what's the difference there? It just so happens I have this rental house that nobody's in and I thought it's freezing cold. I've got a room and there's two windows side by side and I could do one's the control that's it's a replacement window. So I have one of those on one side and I will build a accurate historic single pane wood window that's double hung just like the other one on, right beside it and we will Conduct measurements. What does it feel like on this side? What does it feel like on that side? Let's take temperature readings and I'm gonna be completely honest with what happened. And this is as real as I can get it. This is a real house and I have the air set on 68 degrees and I'm keeping it on there and it's really winter because that's what we really wanna know. What's it really gonna be like in our houses that we live in? And we're gonna find out together. These are the windows that are gonna be involved in this study. Both of them are working, and you'll see in this video where I made sure both of them are operable and not painted shut. They are right beside each other in the same room. So every day that I measure, I'm gonna come see what the temperature is outside with my thermometer and then compare it to the temperature that is inside. This face of the house, due south is that way, due north is this way. So they're gonna get the same amount of exposure. There's not anything that I feel like obstructs one window versus the other. So I think it's as close to a control and a test window as we can get. I'm not sure which one's gonna be test or control yet though. I've got the air set on 68 degrees. It's on all the time and stays that way. So this is the room that we're using. It's a bathroom and what it is, is it's divided off into two sections. So this little room has got the sink and this room has the toilet and the shower. There's this divider wall in between and there is a pocket door to separate them, but I'm gonna be keeping it open the whole time to help evenly circulate air. And you'll notice that there is a vent directly below this window, but also if you come over here, you'll see there's also a vent directly below the other window. So both of them are gonna be getting the same airflow in each section of the rooms. And I'm leaving off the vent covers so that there isn't gonna be any discrepancy about maybe this one was slightly closed or turned so that they both are unimpeded with their airflow. While I have a thermometer on the outside recording the outside temperature, I have four of them inside. The first one is on this back wall of this room. The second thermometer is on the back wall of the shower side. The third one is right here on this partition wall. And the fourth one directly opposite on this side of the partition wall. While there is a door here, I'm gonna be keeping it open the whole time because I found that when I kept the door closed, it wasn't an accurate representation 
of how it felt in the rest of the house. Because there's two vents in here and it was blast in the air and when the sun came in, it heated this up and it felt completely different from the rest of the house. What we're gonna be measuring is the thermal activity of the windows and we'll be using an infrared camera. What we're gonna be using is a FLIR 1 infrared camera and it hooks to your phone. This thing is so cool. I will put a link to it in the description below. This thing is gonna show us all the temperature differences with a color heat map all over, plus it's gonna give us the exact temperature in the very dead center of the shot. Check it out, I haven't moved. I'm standing here and this is that window. How cool is this thing? We wanna get readings in a variety of conditions. Each time we take measurements, we're gonna be recording the outside temperature, the four thermometers inside these rooms, and the inside house temperature. Then we're gonna be taking our thermal imaging readings of both of these windows. I'm also gonna be writing down the date and the time that I take the measurements. So you can look up, if you wanna fact check me, you can look up what the, if the outside temperature was on this specific day and time in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. We're starting out taking measurements of both of these windows just as they are so we can get a baseline to see what the performance level is because these are essentially your wood replacement windows. And you can see in this lower sash, there's two panes of glass because that metal in the middle is that separator that forms that seal between the two panes. After we've gotten multiple readings in a variety of conditions, we're gonna change out one of the windows. I have taken measurements of these window sashes and I'm going to build exact replicas of the two sashes with single pane construction just like it would be in a historic wood window. And I will take, in one of these openings, I will take the two sashes out and I will put in my two traditional single pane wood sashes. So first, we've got baseline temperatures with two replacement but always here windows. Then we'll have replacement versus traditional single pane double hung. Then what I'll do is I'll build a historically accurate wood storm window and place that on the traditional side and see if that makes any difference. Now, I know I keep pointing to that one, but I really don't know which one I'm gonna actually change out. I haven't decided, but if I can find a difference, I'll give the advantage to the replacement window. We clean the windows. I didn't want anybody saying that, oh, they're fogged, the seal's already busted, they aren't working well. No, 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 no. So look, we cleaned them, not very well, because I suck at cleaning. But, and so the lines you see, these are just streaks from we didn't scrub very well. This is just paint because just what is a little sloppy. Up in here, that's just scratches and paint. This right here is where I had like a privacy film on it and I just didn't peel it off very well. No fog, it's still just paint. Some on paint on the outside. These are all looking good. And over here, look, nice and clear except for on the outside, those are some smudges. You don't see any of that fog, any of that dirt inside, even down here. Actually, this is the best looking one. Oh no, I'm just kidding, it looks pretty bad down here. But that's paint. They are working, they are good, not fogged. They're perfect. Well, I think at first, the replacement window is gonna blow the traditional window out of the water because they're using the technology of two panes of glass. If you have one pane of glass, the heat can transfer through that pane of glass very easily. If you have two, you've got dead air space and it's harder for energy to transfer through that. So yeah, I think initially the replacement window is going to win. But I think that when you add the traditional storm window, you've got another pane of glass there and you've got a bigger air gap in between the two. I think then the traditional is going to be the same as the replacement, if not exceed the performance of that replacement window. But Adrian, the whole point is that I don't wanna to have to keep painting and maintaining my windows. There is maintenance involved with traditional historical windows, but what does it mean when they say maintenance free? It must be thrown out. You can't fix it, you can't repair it, you can't maintain it. It's no secret that I want people to keep and maintain their old historic wood windows. 
Why? Well, okay, number one, replacement windows destroy the historic fabric of your house. Number two, replacement windows are just ugly. And number three, once you toss those older windows, that old growth wood is gone forever. And also, I really think that replacement windows are not a cost-efficient alternative to the old ways of doing windows. But I need evidence. And what would that mean if the traditional windows performed just as well? Well, it would mean that you don't have to tear out your historic wood windows to save any money on energy efficiency because they perform the same. But we'll see. Thanks for watching. Be sure you're subscribed so you can follow along with my experiment.